Hey everyone, gather in, gather in a little bit. Let's have a little conversation here. We got such a beautiful day. Thanks for coming out. I am informed that you're all studying hard. You're doing well. You're getting the assignments in on time, which is all. I need you guys to do three things. Jen Schilling's here too, running for the state assembly and that. But we need you to work hard in school. We need you to vote early. And the adage in Chicago is to vote often. But we don't practice <laughs> Chicago politics here, so voting early is important. And we got to figure out a way to get that UWL football team in the win cup. Just, just one win here, Chancellor. That break I, have, I have a lot of influence, but that is maybe beyond my ability. <laughs> but this is a neat day in our democracy because it's the first opportunity people have here in the state to get out and, and to be full participants of our democracy. They get out and vote early. And this is important because on election day, things get a little bit crowded. Things get a little bit busy in everyone's lives. Weather might be goofy or whatever, and there could be a lot of reasons that will make it difficult for people to vote. But here in Wisconsin, starting today, you can go down to City Hall, to the clerk's office, and get that ballot in on time. And what's especially nice is if you haven't voted before, all you need is a, an address uh, envelope uh, or letter to you to show where you're living. And that's your ticket in to be a full participant in our democracy. And this is important, too, because big decisions that happen in our country and in our state, they don't happen when the big debates are happening, when the votes are being cast. It happens on election day, those who show up. And what's neat is that election day is between now and every day leading up to November 2nd uh, here in Wisconsin. And the stakes couldn't be larger. I mean, they really can't. It's an off election year, which means the president's not going to be on the ballot. It's not a presidential race, but that doesn't mean that the votes don't count as much. Uh, in fact, the decisions that we're making right now in Washington and Madison are going to have a much longer lasting impact on your lives than anyone else. So of course you have a stake in Of course your voice should be heard, your enthusiasm, in order to keep this country heading in the right direction again. And for me, I think that's really the fundamental question that people have to answer this year. But whether or not we continue to make progress, continue to move forward on reforms that have been long overdue, Continuing to work hard to get this economy back on track, creating good paying jobs for all Americans, for you uh, during school breaks or when you graduate, and for everyone searching for a job, or whether we go, go back to the failed policies that drove us into this ditch to begin with. And over the last couple of years, I know Jen has been working incredibly hard, and so have I. In order to keep a focus on crucial investments we have to make in this country, and there's no greater important <coughs> investment than access to a good quality education. I still believe in my heart that in America, having access to a good education is the great equalizer in our society. It doesn't matter who you are or where you come from, having access to that is so important, especially higher education. And we are blessed here in Wisconsin and having some of the finest universities in the entire nation right here in western Wisconsin. The UWL, again, just receiving recognition, one of the greatest universities in the entire country right here in our own backyard, something we can be proud of. But that is illusory. If we don't continue to work hard making sure that every student who wants to go on to school has the financial means to do it. And that's why I was proud to support the Higher Education Affordability and Fiscal Responsibility hey. Bill, the largest investment in financial aid in our nation's history, largest expansion of Pell Grant funding. We're indexing Pell Grants for the first time to inflation, to the CPI, so we can keep up with the, with the expense of college education, expansion of TRIO and gear up and upward bound programs, which, which is important. Consolidation of student loans, trying to make that more affordable, and just trying to increase the availability of grants. So students aren't going deeper and deeper in debt, which we've been seeing uh, for, for too long. I was proud to be able to support that. And I know Jen's been working incredibly hard, too, in Madison to, uh, to maintain this, uh, uh, this issue uh, at, the, at the state budget. So get out, encourage your classmates, your roommates, your friends, your neighbors, everyone that's starting today, we're able to go out and start voting uh, in this election. Because this is going to determine, again, whether we're going to continue to make progress or fall back to those failed policies that drove us into the ditch. Beautiful day. And well, let me just quickly introduce our state representative, someone who has been doing a fantastic job, not only for this campus, but for her entire assembly district, Jen Schilling. Jen.